Feeling overwhelmed by the myriad of hormone therapy options out there? You're not alone. Our friendly guide is designed to clear the fog, offering you a side-by-side -side comparison of vaginal estrogen and other hormone therapies. We're here to help you make an informed choice that suits your needs so you can put your worries to rest. Vaginal estrogen is commonly used to treat symptoms of menopause, such as vaginal dryness, itching, and irritation. These symptoms can significantly impact the quality of life, leading to discomfort during sexual activity and even urinary issues. Vaginal estrogen aims to restore the hormonal balance, thereby alleviating these symptoms and improving vaginal health. Vaginal estrogen works by supplementing the body's natural estrogen levels, which often decline during menopause. The hormone is directly applied to the vaginal area, allowing for targeted relief. This localized application minimizes systemic absorption, reducing the risk of side effects commonly associated with oral hormone replacement therapy. The treatment helps in thickening the vaginal lining, increasing natural lubrication, and reducing inflammation. For most women, vaginal estrogen is considered safe and effective. However, it's essential to consult with a healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Some studies suggest a minimal increase in the risk of endometrial cancer and blood clots, but these risks are generally lower than those associated with systemic hormone replacement therapy. Women with a history of breast cancer, endometrial cancer, liver disease, or those who are pregnant should avoid using vaginal estrogen. Additionally, if you have unexplained vaginal bleeding, consult your healthcare provider before starting any form of estrogen therapy. Vaginal estrogen is available in multiple forms, each designed to cater to different needs and preferences. The four primary forms are creams, tablets, suppositories, and rings. Understanding the nuances of each can help you and your healthcare provider decide which is most suitable for you. Vaginal estrogen creams are perhaps the most versatile form of this hormone replacement therapy. They come in a tube and are applied directly to the vaginal area using an applicator. The amount of cream can be easily adjusted, and the estrogen is concentrated where it's needed most. However, some women find creams to be a bit messy or uncomfortable. Creams often require daily application, which can be inconvenient. Before we continue, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Tablets are small, dissolvable estrogen pills that are inserted into the vagina using a disposable applicator. Each tablet contains a pre-measured amount of estrogen, ensuring consistent dosing but less flexibility than creams. Many women find tablets easier and cleaner to use than creams. Vaginal estrogen rings are flexible rings that are inserted into the vagina and left in place for an extended period, usually three months. The ring releases a steady, low dose of estrogen over time. One ring can last up to three months, reducing the frequency of applications. The ring provides a steady release of estrogen, ensuring consistent treatment. Some women may find the process of inserting and removing the ring cumbersome. Also, like tablets, Rings come in pre-measured doses, limiting customization. Vaginal estrogen suppositories are solid, bullet-shaped forms of estrogen that are inserted into the vagina. Once inserted, they melt at body temperature, releasing estrogen directly into the vaginal tissues. The suppository form allows for quick absorption of estrogen into the vaginal tissues, providing rapid relief from symptoms. Suppositories are generally easy to insert and less messy compared to creams. Like cream rings and tablets, suppositories offer localized treatment, focusing the estrogen where it's most needed. However, the effects of suppositories may not last as long as other forms, requiring more frequent application. Also, similar to tablets and rings, suppositories come in pre-measured doses which limits customization. When it comes to treating menopausal and postmenopausal symptoms, hormone therapy is often the go-to solution. However, there are various forms of hormone therapy available, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. 
Let's explore how vaginal estrogen stacks up against other types of hormone therapy, like oral tablets and transdermal patches. Targeted versus systemic treatment. Vaginal estrogen is localized and directly targets the vaginal area, beneficial for specific symptoms like vaginal dryness, itching, or irritation. Oral tablets and transdermal patches are more systemic and affect the entire body. Suitable for a broader range of menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, and mood swings. Risk profile. Vaginal estrogen has a lower risk profile due to minimal systemic absorption. It is safer for many women, especially those with certain pre-existing conditions. On the other hand, more systemic medicines like patches and oral estrogen may carry higher risks of side effects like blood clots, strokes, and certain types of cancer. Convenience and lifestyle. Vaginal estrogen requires more frequent application but offers targeted relief for specific symptoms. Oral tablets and transdermal patches require less frequent administration. Tablets are usually taken once a day, and patches can last for several days. Choosing hormone therapy is a bit like shopping for a new outfit. You want something that fits your needs, lifestyle, and personal preferences. Whether you go for the targeted approach of vaginal estrogen or the broad reach of systemic hormone therapy, the most important thing is to consult your healthcare provider. Together, you can tailor a treatment plan that makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching, and please click the like button and subscribe.